I am so crazy about Gwen. And the moment I laid eyes on her, I knew, what I knew was I really wanted to get on my knees and thank God for introducing me to Gwen. And I haven't ever had a moment of doubt since then. My family starts with Judith. So for me, that was never not part of the equation. There was always going to be marriage um, because it's an institution that, um, to me, embodies family. And, uh, and that means a lot. Family is the unconditional, absolute, in it together um, commitment. And, and we need it. When we decided to get married, the question was, we really wanted to be married. We didn't want um, a faux marriage. We didn't want to go through the, the motions. And that meant we had to leave Oregon. For me, there was this huge hole missing in that one of my dearest friends in the world couldn't be there. She had health issues that kept her from leaving the country. I'll never get that back. I'll never be able to Photoshop her in. You know, she will never be there. And, and that was really, that was really hard. You've got this moment, this, you know, incredible commitment, this incredible witnessing of our relationship and, you know, that somebody couldn't be there because we had to be in another country was just heartbreaking. And I don't know why we should have to leave the state we love and the country we love to marry the person we love. It's, it makes no sense. I never had um, a, an idea in my mind about what a wedding would be like. I've heard most girls do. But in that moment is when I realized, oh, this is what little girls have been dreaming about. I never dared to dream about. And I never dared to think about what it would mean to have people come to bless and support and witness this, this commitment. Without marriage, it's not the same. You can dress it up, you can fake it till you make it, but until you make it, until you have it, you're not married. And, you know, I want to be able to walk into a room with any of my friends and any of my family, any of my colleagues, and know that they know that we've made the commitment of marriage. Um, it's, it's huge. Um, I don't know that we significantly changed how we lived our life, but it's how we walk in the world and how others see us in the world, and that is true equality. I wouldn't want anyone to waste a single moment not being able to have what we have. I'm very excited about um, true marriage equality coming to Oregon. I just want other people, younger people, to never have to delay, to never have to wonder if if their marriage, if their relationship, their love is as valued and as valid as anybody's. Everybody comes to the issues of equality differently. Their experiences are different. And Basic Rights Oregon has really embraced those conversations. It's been a wonderful journey to see the work um, not only in the early years, which was really about defending bad things and working very hard to keep fending off bad things, but moving to the positive, moving to the, the world of education. To be proactive, you have to have resources, and it's long-term commitment. This is not a simple conversation or series of conversations. It's a lifetime of conversation. That's why I became a sustaining donor to the Basic Rights Oregon Education Fund. Um, and I you know, willingly, happily, gleefully write my monthly check because when it comes down to it, freedom means freedom for everyone. Freedom means freedom for everyone. Thank you.